So our top story tonight, Made in America. Just in time for the 4th of July, a new film tackles what may be one of the biggest but least talked about problems that we're facing today. It is the unmistakable decline of American manufacturing in the face of global competition and the departure of all the jobs that go with that. Vincent Vittorio is one of the directors of the cleverly titled American Made Movie. Welcome to the show. You know, I, I watched the trailer. It looks like a fantastic movie. One of the things that your narrator says right out of the gate is that making things is important. And I wonder, is, it, is making things important? I mean, what about creating technology? What about intellectual property? I mean, that's a lot of the shift that we've seen here. Why do we need to make things as a country? No, thanks so much for having me on, Amanda. No, I, I think it's important to realize that, you know, we as consumers have such an integral role to the relationship of manufacturing and, you know, making things is important. And I think the first step of that is that consumers need to demand it. And I think when we go to shop today, we look for the lowest priced item and not necessarily um, maybe what's supporting not only our local economy, but also our national economy. So it's it's um, but, it's really but, important to but kind why of do realize. Our viewers have a responsibility out there to buy a more expensive product because it's made in America. Because the person who's watching at home, who shops at Walmart, is focused on that money, maybe buying food for their kids or a better education. I mean, why should they buy a more expensive pair of sneakers to support American jobs? I mean, they, that may be a good goal, but they have even higher priorities. No, definitely. I, I think um, you know. It's really important to realize that, I guess, if, if let's take the shoe model you just brought up there. Um, New Balance is one of the stories in our film in which, you know, they're the last athletic shoe manufacturer in America. And I think that, you know, understanding that my money is going to supply um, shoes, sneakers made in Maine and, you know, up, upstate um, Massachusetts, it's, it's that relationship that I feel like I have an impact on that economy. And so it might cost a little more for certain yeah. products, but I feel as if what I'm doing with my dollars is something that's impacting. I mean, even the local economy, I mean, if there's people at home that shop at Walmart, but they're buying produce that they know, you know, is from their own backyard, it's something that I think that we're having a greater impact on it. And we can't rely on leaders to, uh, you know, change things if we don't show that we demand it by our purchasing power. But, but, but why should we demand it? I mean, that's not an efficient use of resources. If something is more expensive because it's made here, it's generally because the labor is more expensive because our economy is more advanced and people are earning higher wages. Um, that's a good thing. But, you know, the business goes away to a place where there's cheaper wages and, and, and it's creative destruction. You know, we repurpose our resources to do something else, like create intellectual property, um, create technology. Th that's the way the economy works. And it doesn't mean those people are out of work. It means they're doing something more productive. No, no, that's true, Melissa. I think, you know, it's important to realize that, you know, our country was founded on these great principles of entrepreneurship, you know, the, yeah. the elements that we, we make everything here. I mean, just from Henry Ford to even today with Facebook and my side, just you have to realize that in order to allow that to grow, I, th I think it, it starts on every level. It's showing that we as a country will support our local economies and support our national economy to be able to stand okay. behind it. But um, I think it, it's important. It's such a big issue. Um, I want to bring in Steve Moore from the Wall Street Journal as well, who has been listening to this conversation. Steve, give me your thoughts. Hi, Melissa. Um, look, I'm actually pretty bullish on American manufacturing. I don't see a big decline. It's true, manufacturing employment has declined a lot, Melissa, because if you go to the average factory in America today, they are so hyper-efficient and computerized. But, you know, uh, I've been, as long as I've been an economist for 30 years, I've heard about the decline in manufacturing. And I just, I don't think it's nearly as severe as, and I, by the way, I agree with Vincent. I, I'm a guy who likes to buy American, and I think it is important we have a manufacturing base. And I'll say one other thing about this. Melissa. One of the reasons I'm so high on American manufacturing is guess what country in the world has the lowest cost power today? Uh, the United States of America. The energy revolution is actually having really big positive effects for American manufacturing. You've got a lot of Ger German and European countries. Uh, companies that are now looking at relocating yeah. factories in the United States. It's a great thing. No, I mean, that's really true. And Vincent, I would ask you to respond to that point because I've talked to manufacturers recently who said that they're thinking about moving production back from China because if you right. have it closer to where you're selling it, if you combine that with the idea that energy is so much cheaper because of the shale revolution, we're seeing so much natural gas come online to make energy that mm -hmm. makes it cheaper, that it makes cost sense 
and they can bring the price down. But that's letting price dictate it, Vincent. I mean, that's really kind of what our economy is all about. It's not about making a movie that pulls down people's heartstrings so they buy more expensive products because they feel guilty. It's about getting the cost of production in line or being so productive that it's a cheaper, better good made here, no? No, I, I think that's part of it, but I, it's also understanding the label because, you know, you brought up a good point about, let's say, uh, a, a German manufacturer, right, uh, BMW. They're producing cars in Spartanburg, <laughs> South Carolina. So immediately you see uh, a German manufacturer, like, well, what's that mean to me as an American? But it's employing people in South Carolina the same way as right. uh, Mercedes-Benz and Honda and Alabama. And so if you understand the label and I think the relationship that these um, companies or these manufacturers have specifically to our country, it, it can have a greater impact. Yeah. Steve, at the end of the day, though, it always has to be a better product that is cost competitive. You can't, can you get, let me ask the question in a different way, can you get people... <laughs> to buy goods because they feel compelled, because they're made in America and they feel like they must do that? Or does it have to be about price and quality? Well, you know, Melissa, if you cut me, I'd bleed red, white, and blue, especially this time of year. So I do want uh, manufacturing jobs in America. By the way, I haven't seen the film yet, but Vincent, I'm looking forward to seeing it. But, you know, there are so many obvious things we have to do here in Washington to, to make America more competitive. Uh, you know, the tax system is completely anti-manufacturing, right. the regulatory structure, the, the completely crazy energy policies the president announced last week would, would do so much harm to our manufacturing. But if we got our policy policies right. Look, I think American workers can now compete anybody in the world. Yeah. And, and Vincent, I know you, we got to go, but I know you agree on the tax point because you have another great movie on that front as well. Good luck <laughs> to you. Congratulations on this and thank you for coming on the show and happy 4th of July to both of you. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. Thank you. you too. Thank you so much. All